The killings were heinous. The sexual assaults, nightmarish. And they were happening with such frequency. Police and the families of the victims wondered if the baseline killer was more than one person. I don't know if it's multiple killers, if it's one killer, I have no idea. The composite sketch looked like any number of people. Hundreds of suspects were investigated, questioned, scrutinized. Every suspect, every individual was looked at, vetted, uh, DNA. In the end, investigators decided the baseline killer was one person working alone. That person was Mark Goudot. And what a lot of people don't know, there was 23 crimes that was committed by the baseline killer. 23, I was only charged 11, why is that? That's the question CBS 5 Investigates has run into over and over. Could there still be a killer walking the streets? Mark's too old as far as the witness descriptions. He's too big. Most of the descriptions where the guy was um, not that tall and, and thin. Veteran Phoenix police officer Rusty Stewart wrote this report six years ago. It lays out the crimes committed by the baseline killer and raises questions about another suspect. That person, Terry Wayne Smith, a violent career criminal accused of at least two murders, rape and kidnapping. He spent most of his life in and out of prison. Stewart started investigating Smith years ago after a complaint that Smith was following a woman at a Home Depot store and in the parking lot. This was the first of many complaints police received about Smith harassing women. I mean, they could put this individual at each crime scene. This map lays out the similarities that Officer Stewart saw between Smith and the baseline killer crimes. The red dots are crimes that police suspected were the work of the baseline killer. The black dots are interactions Terry Wayne Smith had with police. And twice within 48 hours after Smith was released from prison, a murder was committed not far from where he was staying. The baseline killer shot Romelia Vargas and Myrna Palmer Roman in the head while they were working in their food truck in South Phoenix. A police report shows that 11 hours later, at a bus stop just a few miles away, Smith was questioned by police after bragging about how many people he had killed. Carmen Miranda, a mother of two, was kidnapped from this car wash and murdered. Around that same time, Smith's mother told police he showed up at home with blood all over his shirt. When questioned further, Smith's own mother told police her son hears voices of women screaming and being raped and that he becomes extremely violent when he drinks and uses drugs. And police found disturbing letters and notes where Smith talked about hating prostitutes and shooting them in the head and then kissing their lips. I don't know if he's the right guy, but I know I'm not the right guy. Smith was arrested and went to prison shortly after Goudot was arrested. At that point, the baseline killing stopped. Unlike Goudot, though, Smith was just released from prison and is back on the streets. We spotted him at his mother's house in Levine. Wayne, Tammy with Channel 5. Hey, I just want to get your side of things. Wayne, how do you explain being at some of the same scenes where the baseline murders happened? Wayne, do you know Mark Goudot? Why do you think they considered you a suspect? Is there any possibility that there's still another killer out there. We got the right person and that person's behind bars and at least that person isn't terrifying any other uh, members of our community.